I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I love animals. Elephants are my very favorite. I want to go to Thailand and play with elephants. Um, I have a cat named Pancakey, and I'm a ballet dancer, and I dance on point. I didn't have a clue what to do. I was the only Nassad left, and I spent a long time there waiting. Is this what the humans call lonely and longing? Wait a second, wait a second. Okay, wait, wait. Michael! Lonely and longing. You gotta put quotes around. You gotta make me believe that you're really lonely and longing because you're not, you're a nice person. You gotta feel lonely too and happy, longing. Too happy. Okay? Oh, maybe I should have said that from the The cat is stuff. dead. Okay, I'll, the family's dead. There's a thing called a talk back duck? Okay, I'll do it. Okay, I feel, I feel depressed okay. enough. Uh, I can do it. You know, keep going. Move, move, move. Is this what the humans call lonely? I'm longing. <laughs> well, she's the queen of the Nassads, an right. ancient race, and they've all been, her whole race has been annihilated. So I'm the last one. So I'm on a very tough mission and it's it's a call to action and, and she's a warrior and a queen and it's, it's very exciting. Through a couple different casting directors, I got on at a couple fun projects. Like I dubbed a kid's Korean show. It was a TV show in Korea and it taught kids how to speak English. And I played a little pink bunny rabbit named Bella. And I was immediately hooked. I was addicted. I was like, this is it. Voice over. Yep. Oh, just this person named Michael So Rich. And I auditioned for Eve. I saw that she was a queen and a robot. I was just instantly fascinated. Let's see. Uh, Blade and Soul just released and I uh, play Poerhan. I have a dungeon and I'm the lead boss of the whole level. So I have a giant Gatling gun and two pet tigers. Super badass. Uh, <laughs> Chizaki on Lull in the Sea. That's my favorite show ever because I feel like I was a mermaid in my past life. I'm just like the girliest girly girl. And um, that was the most emotionally invested I've ever been in a role. She has 26 episodes and it's gorgeous and moving and emotional and I'm just such a girly girl. Ugh, I mean, it has to be Chizaki for sure because she goes through a time gap. All of her friends are frozen underwater for five years so she ages while they don't and going through that with her I'd be in the booth and she'd be crying and I literally would be crying voicing that scene oh. I was just so taken I was really I was really taken anime um newer slash older animes uh the oldest definitely Sailor Moon that I'm definitely one of those but newer I like Claymore I like um Death Note, of course, is a classic. And gaming, I've always been a Resident Evil fanatic. What? My first game was PlayStation 2, Resident Evil, or PlayStation, Resident Evil 2. My sisters and I would play that game for hours, days, weeks on end, like watching a long horror movie. It was terrifying and amazing, and I love it. Love it. Okay, well, um, I'm on Instagram if you like cat pics. <laughs> it's at Brie Knickerbocker and uh, go Steelers, even though we're not at the Super Bowl. Oh, well, maybe next year. <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys. Play Zeeb. She's super cool and awesome and pretty.